Colby Hall is here with us, founding editor of Mediaite, on balance resident philosopher. A am I on to something here? There's just, they, it's like you just can't give it up. They can't. I mean, no one's going to watch a horse race with one horse, right? So, uh, you know, if it's going to be like right now, Biden's way ahead in the Democratic polls, Trump's way ahead. You know, you can't have the NCAA tournament and cut right to the final game. Yeah, but there seems like there's something about RFK that is particularly galling to members of the media. We've had a lot of times where there was a fringe primary challenger to an incumbent president that didn't get this kind of coverage. I, I, I can't put my finger on it. We had somebody on last night who wrote a column saying that, that RFK was a threat to democracy. Take a listen. He said reasonable people can disagree on vaccine hesitancy and uh, vaccine issues and on and on and on. There was I don't a lot know of, what you mean by that. I mean, there's well, I, I, Okay, I mean, I, 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 can, I, can, I can say, I can say that... I could say that the Johnson & Johnson vaccine for COVID has been pulled by the FDA. I can say we were told that if you get the vaccine, you won't get COVID. That turned out to be wrong. There, there's well, I, you conversations. Know, and, you oh, don't really I, 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 need to spout these, you know, sort no, of these right-wing no, no. talking points at me. The, <laughs> the vaccines that are out there today are the, safe and effective. Sir, They've saved the, these are not, hundreds this is of the thousands problem. of lives. This is the problem. You can't, you can't have a conversation on the facts. There is such a desire to ignore everything Robert Kennedy is talking about, except for that he is an anti-vaxxer. Why is that just so galling and irritating to so mem many, maybe not necessarily executives, but reporters themselves? Well, I think reporters firmly believe, you know, what they, there's, a, there's a, a trust in how the media has reported itself, and it becomes dogma, right? It becomes doctrine. And so anyone that sort of flouts that is instantly vilified. And, you know, I think where RFK is similar to Trump is that he is a disruptor from within the own party. So he is ostensibly a Democrat, but he says a lot of things that resonate with people, particularly about vaccine, raising questions, which you illustrated right there. He's also got a lot of stuff wrong about oh, vaccines. Oh, yeah, he, there's some stuff out there that's pretty wacky. Right. But at the same, I guess the, the flip side of this is for the media that purports to hate him so much and find him to be so dangerous, there's a lot of people who hear what Robert Kennedy says and goes, oh, they may not agree with all of it, but some of it's pretty interesting. And then they see the media, who has the lowest approval numbers of everybody, going after a guy, and they go, well, if the media's going after him, he must be doing something right. There's a, we, they, we went down this road in 2015, didn't no, we? I, I mean, the parallels are obvious, and I think that's exactly right. I, I will say, though, that conservative media has really rallied around RFK Jr. Yeah. in much the same way Chris Christie is a hero now on the left because he is a disruptor of that dynamic. And again, you know, if it bleeds, it leads. It's conflict, right? So um, that's, what, that's what media... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think what's fascinating, though, and uh, I'm going to take the last word myself, is that there, the conflict between Joe Biden and RFK is not what's being covered. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome back anytime. Colby Hall, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.